PayPal is the sequencer in a yeah. PayPal transaction. Cash App is the sequencer in a Bitcoin transaction between two Cash App users. And so according to the internal ledger at Cash App, we're verifying and sequencing that transaction internally. The cost of that is that you're custodying your funds within Cash App. If you buy more funds, they'll earn fees off of you. Some of these platforms do charge a fee. The, that is effectively the service that they provide. They provide a verification and sequencing and authentication service. The verification costs of the system right now are borne by all users. So mm -hmm. all users are paying for sequencing and verification through monetary issuance. So this year, 70 basis points of new Bitcoin were issued to miners, 1.4 basis points of Bitcoin were paid to miners in transaction fees. That 70 basis points was 50 times the, the mining incentive that was paid to miners effectively for the services of verification and sequencing. So it makes Bitcoin a functioning payments network. Yeah. So we all paid that cost by the new issuance. The question is, how does the system work if individuals have to, instead of silently paying that cost as more units are issued, mm -hmm. diluting the existing supply, instead it requires individual actors to pay enough transaction fees to create mining revenue adequacy for the, the broader mining community.